everyone. I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak. And since I have the time to do it, I hope to be able to get a couple of videos done here um, right now <laughs> while I have the time. And so there are many videos that I've been wanting to do here that are very important and that I think everyone needs to know about. And the first video that I'm going to do here is something that no one wants to talk about, that no one wants to admit to, and there's many and various reasons for that, but this needs to be addressed and I've been wanting to address it on my channel here, and that is homelessness. And these are some things that I didn't know about homelessness. Everyone needs to, everyone needs to know this. Everyone needs to. I didn't know this. And I'm, I'm getting this information literally from the federal government's website. Um, and this, this was the information that they had on their website before COVID hit. I noticed that since COVID, they have taken down all their information. They've, they've removed it pretty much entirely. But this is what they had on their website before COVID hit. And it is this. Uh, what most of us think of as homelessness is actually absolute and utter destitution. You, you don't even have a cardboard box to live in. You're literally out on the street. Uh, you don't have a tent necessarily. You're lucky if you even have a tent. Um, and you literally have, as, as it's been called, you have the shirt on your back. That is it. You have the clothes that you're wearing and, and they're not much of anything. And that's it. You don't, you might, or you might not have a backpack and that's it. That is actually destitution. Uh, according to before COVID, and I'm going with that, before COVID, the federal government considered these items being homelessness. If you did not have a safe and secure place to routinely sleep for the night, you were homeless. And the things that they considered homeless was really shocking, uh, absolutely flabbergasting to me. Uh, but apparently, according to them, that would include having to, say, live in hotel rooms and motel rooms. So if you're consistently and constantly having to, you know, live in hotel rooms and motel rooms, you're homeless. Um, having to live in a vehicle of any kind, whether that's a camper, a bus, a van, a car, um, having to live, you know, in a motor vehicle of any kind, that is homelessness. Um, having to sleep on someone's couch, that is homelessness. You know, whether it's a relative, whether it's a friend, whether it's, you know, a fiance, a spouse, what have you, having to sleep on someone's couch, uh, that is homelessness. Uh, believe it or not, they actually, it, it was, from the sound of it, um, it actually made me wonder about these people who are, their name is not on the lease, uh, and yet they are renting, they are actually paying someone, they're renting a room from someone, you know, whether it's in their apartment, in the person's house, in the person's, you know, duplex or what have you, quadplex, whatever they're living in, if, because, because of the criteria that they listed someone who is actually renting a room it sounds like they would actually qualify but one of the things about that is that that would be a consistent place to lay your head so i don't know if that would qualify it did qualify under the other requirements that they had but you know uh some of the other things that also qualify as homelessness uh if your life is in danger if you do not feel safe, if you are living in a volatile situation, if you're living in a food insecure situation. Um, they actually had like other categories for that, but they listed it under and alongside homelessness. So that was rather interesting. And yeah, I've been wanting to put this out there for some time, and this is very important in my mind for everyone to know. So this this was a talking head. Uh, more than likely, I'm not going to put any images to it. Uh, more than likely, these videos that I'm going to come out with at the moment are going to be nothing but a talking head. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's it. So there you go. There's a little snippet. 
about homelessness that I learned that I didn't know that, uh, interestingly enough, in the, even the federal government now, since about 2020, at least, um, has suddenly decided to remove entirely from their website, probably because the number of homelessness people have skyrocketed, absolutely skyrocketed. So they decided to stop counting people as homeless, even though they are homeless. And by the way, so the people who you see out on the street that don't even necessarily have a tent to sleep in or a backpack to their name, um, they are actually below the homelessness line, according to what the federal government used to have on their website. <laughs> they are actually below the, the level that they considered homeless. And that says everything right there. I, I have at least two other videos dealing with homelessness, um, such as food stamps and whatnot, and jailing, and I'll get to those next. So, But for this video, this is over and done with at the moment. So see you in the next video. I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak. Thanks for stopping by.